Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Tony Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Tony Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Quarter. Wake up to this altar every day. We send it to reach your phone 12 midnight. If you are not receiving your own by 12 midnight, maybe we are not the ones sending it to you. Maybe somebody else is sending it to you. I want you to register directly with us. It will get to you more regularly and timely that way, especially through the telegram. If you want it to get to you through your telegram timely, please contact our media director on plus two three four eight zero three two three two double two seven six or my pastor assistance on plus two three four eight zero five eight zero double two one nine four. For the two numbers, don't call, just send a chat. They will give you the link and be on them until you are well registered. They will direct you. And that is on Telegram. The Telegram is more effective. I want everyone to join us on Telegram. Welcome to Wednesday, the third day in July 2024. Three is God's number for divine rest. And seven is, three is God's number for resurrection and restoration. And seven is God's number for divine rest. Open your hand to prophesy all these things into your life. Be responding with amen, I receive it. July has just started. This is the third day in the month. Receive the impartation of the third day. Resurrection, restoration, and elevation. May these covenant virtues start working in your life. Before the end of this month, great things will be happening for you. Whatever belongs to you, buried in some strange and mysterious graves, shall henceforth locate you and come to you. Who is this? In the place of prayer, I saw a cloud rolled off your head. The evil covering that covered you and limited you has now been rolled away. Your heavens are open in the name of Jesus. Now, open and God will be pouring his blessing unto you. He will turn you into a generational icon. No matter what your situation looks like now, if it is not favorable or it is not what you like, I command a turn around. I decree a change in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, Amen, I receive it. Yesterday's ministration was me just prophesying over you, connecting you to my bad day grace. All the prayers I pray for you shall become testimonies. Listen to that prayer again and again. Psalm 23 verse 5 says, Thou prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runs over. After this prayer, anoint yourself right on your head. But let's take this prophetic action today. We did it before. Look for a cup, a bowl, a container, anything that can hold water. Lift it face up for a prophetic action. If you cannot do that right now, still receive this prayer. And when it is possible for you to do, get a cup and lift it up. Please do and repeat this broadcast. Lift up the cup. If you can pour water into it, pour water into it and lift it up. Let it face up. He says, my cup runneth over. May God fill your cup to running over this month. Running over means excesses. More than enough. Overflow. Surplus supplies. No scarcity. No dryness. I prophesy in all areas of your life's endeavor, your cup shall be filled to running over. You will not borrow to leave. You will not know emptiness. Everything about you will come as at when due. Receive it. Receive it. In Jesus' name, right? Drink part of the water, pour it into some other water, wash your face, you can even take your bath with it. Let the running over anointing overwhelm your life. Great testimonies will come out of this. Tell us when they begin to happen. July 3, celebrate your prayers. Be blessed, be lifted up. God's glory shall cover your life. You will live long and you will live well in Jesus' name. Happy birthday, right? First issue today, greeting, sir, waiting on the Lord in prayers for specific instructions over my destiny. What, why, how, when, and who of my life and answers are not coming for many years now. And I'm not getting any younger. Is that, does it mean that God does not want to answer me or God has replaced me with somebody else? Urgent attention. I will appreciate it, sir. More grace. Wow. Let me start by saying 
many people are in the same frame of mind or perception or the same situation as you are. Many Christians, not that God is deaf or does not want to see or love you, not that God has replaced you with somebody else, no, or not that God lacks the resources or the power to answer his children, not at all. Your challenge is in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 and Isaiah 5 verse 13. In one word, lack of knowledge. Knowledge of how God structured life to run. You said you had waited, sir, for what, why, how, when, and who of your life. The answers to all are tied down to having a clear vision of your life and establishing a clear focus for your life. What is happening to you is that you are not in your vision and you are not in your focus. All you have been doing is trying this and trying that and then praying, perhaps crying. That is not the way to go about it. No, 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 no. That is not it. What you need is to know God's purpose. I have said it again and again. Vision is having a clear picture of your desired future. And focus is knowing what God created you to do here on earth and staying glued to it. Then training for it. Having a mentor in that area to put you through. Then working hard and growing it. God will not be moved by our tears, our angers, or our frustration. No, not at all. Please obtain three of my titles. One, the law of success. Number two, all from the valley, the story of my life. Number three, why people are poor and the way out of it. SMS, chat, or call our book officer. Booking on plus two three four eight zero five six four three four seven five eight online or the hard copy. Obtain the three books. Read and understand them. Follow the principles there. Your story will change. What I say to one, I have said to all. All listeners, obtain these three books. Run your life with it. Obtain for your children. Let them live by the principles and the insightful teachings. In the next two or three years, your life will turn around. God is not the reason anyone is down. God is not the reason. The devil is not the reason. Not even the enemies. It is lack of understanding of how God pattern or structure life to work. You will find the answers in the three books. Go for them. Next, good day, daddy. I'm a TPJ family. I'm a married woman, a graduate. I'm over 45 years old. But my husband will not allow me to work. He pays the children's school fees all right. He gives me little money for feeding and housekeeping. Hence, I have to borrow money to add to the little. It drops for me. Now I am owing a lot of people that are on my neck. How do I pay back? Since he wouldn't allow me to work, I want to file for a divorce. So I can go out to work, make money to pay off the debt that has now made my BP to rise from time to time. We have been married for 15 years, during which I have prayed, talked to Godfathers, mothers, pastors, family members, friends, to talk to him, to allow me to walk, but he refused completely. Daddy, I am tired. I want to walk out of this marriage. Your advisor. Wow. God bless you. Your write-up is long, but I took time to read it all for two reasons. Number one, I know you are hurting and you are confused. Number two, I want single ladies and their parents to learn great lessons here. I have said it again and again, the best defense and insurance for a woman is to earn her own income, to own her own copy, to own her own money. You ought to have said to all this matter before you got married to him. Didn't you have courtship? What were you discussing and agreeing on during the courtship? No. Ah, a, a graduate has to sit down at home just producing babies when you are not a baby machine. When you are not in Puda, no, 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 no. You missed it terribly at that point. Then, this your husband that won't listen or reason with godfathers, mothers, pastors, family members, and friends. Obviously, he won't listen to God. How did you fall into the hand of such a man? Ah, great lessons should be learned here by the singles. Don't marry a man that fears no one that has no mentor he respects. Now, if he asks you not to work, then he should set you up on the viable business with a good capital 
and make you the only signatory to the account. Any man that asks his wife not to work is dominating and want to enslave her later as you have now found yourself. He wants to dictate your life to you. He doesn't want you to have a life of your own. My daughter, any man that says you shouldn't work and will not set you up in a viable business, don't marry him. What happened to you if anything happens to him? We don't pray that anything bad will happen to our spouses, but we are all alive and we see that things do happen in life. Ah, you acted foolishly here. But walking out of the marriage is not the answer. Cutting off the head is not the medicine for headache. If you walk out of your marriage, with your children walk out with you? Obviously no. Now, I ask you to go into warfare prayers here. Warfare prayers so that God can touch his heart for him. All my daughters, don't marry a dominating man. Never. Now, I will ask listeners to make your own comments. If you have any input on this matter, send it here so that we can send to these our members. Please broadcast this to all of your contacts. Do so daily. Today is the prayer mountain service at our Abuja Center. 12 to 2 p.m., Living Spring Chapel, Kado Life Camp, after the fish market. Please be there. It will bless you. Now, I want to sincerely appreciate and thank all TPGF members and Tony Point listeners, Living Spring Chapel members, for your felicitation, your greetings, your prayers, and your gifts for me yesterday. It was awesome. Even though I begged people not to come, some people still come, some people still phone, and even came to my house. I want to thank God for all those of you that sold connection to Great Seed, 69,000, 6,900, 690, 50,000, 690, 20,000, 690, all kind of sowing. The Lord bless you. You are still free to do your own sowing till the end of this month. Then the account officer told me, that some were confused because the bank brought my name as Femi Isaiah Emmanuel. And they wonder whether that is still me. Yes, that is still me. Femi Isaiah Emmanuel. I bear that name. You see, the bank has made you to know that I also bear Isaiah now. <laughs> God bless you as you do. The grace will rest upon you. The power of God will be strong on you. What God cannot do does not exist. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. TPGF, truly blessed. Bye.